So the title for today's uh, conference is economic, the economic and social context of domestic violence. Um, and um, as in many of these situations, it's always difficult to, to know how to introduce both topic and uh, who we are, the ones organizing this, because there are so many people that know us from before, but I will still give a short um, sort of background to what site is and, and our work in, in this region and how this has evolved into eventually uh, the Frogi or Frogi, whatever you prefer, project and, uh, and then this conference and, and our work on, on gender economics. Um, so at the same time, I'm guessing for those of you who are like me, this will be a, a reminder of all the acronyms I, I always get confused about who we are really uh, in, in those terms. So the structure is the following site, Stockholm Institute of Transition Economics. That's where many of us work. That's an independent research institute founded in 1989 here at the school, Stockholm School of Economics. Um, and for all sorts of historical reasons, we've uh, worked in the former Soviet Union, Eastern Europe and Russia, and uh, in this process come to work with a lot of great research institutes in the region. And uh, over time, this has uh, gradually formed into a network which we decided to formalize. I don't remember exactly when, but around 2010 or so, uh, this officially became uh, the free network, so standing for the Forum for Research on Eastern Europe and Emerging Economies. Uh, the Emerging Economies part is an addition to sort of emphasize that in research terms, we are not a sort of geographically specified uh, research institutes. We don't do research only on on Eastern Europe and, and uh, yeah. Russia, but uh, more broadly on transition in a, in a very wide respect. Um, within this research network, even though we've had retreats and many uh, nice contacts and uh, people have worked very well together, over time we also came to realize that to deepen this uh, the joint research in particular, it was a good idea, or at least we thought we'll try out to focus, to have some focus areas to sort of facilitate the coordination of people's efforts in different, uh, different topics. And one of the first uh, areas that we decided to, to focus on was gender economics. And so within the free network, we now have a whole bunch of, uh, well, not a whole bunch, but a couple of different acronyms. So there's FROGI, uh, the Forum for Re Research on Gender Economics in Eastern Europe, and then you can add as many E's as you like. Uh, then we have FROMDI, which is on, uh, what is this now? Media, Media and democracy. <laughs> and then we have FREEZE, which is on climate, right? Climate change. Uh, which are programs starting now. So, um, and this is, I think the, the experience from, from the Froggy project has been really great. And uh, it has really deepened our collaboration across these countries. And, and I think part of today's conference is, is testament to this, because one of the things that we've done, and this, Michal will talk more about this and introduce the survey that we conducted across eight countries in, in the region uh, later in the program. But um, the, the focus on, on one topic has, has really made it easier to, to, uh, to do research jointly together. And um, over time, since Progi started, I think late 2017, uh, we've produced a whole number of the uh, policy briefs, which are all available on, on our free network uh, page. And uh, also a number of research papers has come out of, of this work. Um, then to sort of narrow in on 
today's conference and our topic. One of the things that within this project then uh, became evident with the start of the pandemic was the increase in, in domestic violence. Uh, and of course, as a topic in general, this is notoriously difficult to research, especially if, if one is uh, interested in trying to quantify effects or try to, to have the quantitative data on, on this. So there are a number of challenges with this, but also a lot of very good and innovative work uh, in, in this topic. And so um, we've, um, throughout the pandemic, organized a number of events around domestic violence in, in particular, and uh, then conducted this survey uh, and um, this was one of the conferences that we thought this is what we want to to focus on as soon as possible as soon as the bloody pandemic pardon my French is over then we'll we'll organize something around this and try to get together a lot of people who who work on this um and then of course this was planned for March 7 and as we all know the world then changed uh, in a terrible way in, in February again. So um, at that point, uh, so soon into the to the war, we decided that we did not want to to organize this. We just were like a lot of people overwhelmed by by the terrible situation. Um, but we have now decided that now is the time to pick up this topic. But then sadly enough, the war situation, of course, creates um, the need to discuss uh, gender-based violence or violence against women in war situations. Uh, so there's a special panel on that. I'm super happy that we were able to, to get this um, policy panel on dimensions on gender-based violence and military conflict together. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so that was a short tour of sort of how we ended up here with this topic. I think it's a uh, high time to, to start the program. It's a very long day, uh, but a lot of interesting questions and topics to be, uh, to be um, listened to and presented. Um, so, um, I think um, I should leave the floor to, um, on my watch, we're like two minutes early. So as I expected, uh, my, my introduction was not uh, well-timed. And uh, my dancing and singing skills are limited. So <laughs> I will opt not to, to do, uh, do anything else. Uh, I think uh, is uh, the first presenter, the first uh, number of papers are all on the, the topic of uh, limiting the scale of gender-based and domestic violence. Uh, the question is what works? And this of course is, is key issue. What, what can we do to prevent this? Uh, so apart from as a researcher, one likes to divide up these uh, questions. And, and one thing is understanding sort of why things happen. And the next part is, of course, which if one is into policy work, which site as an institute very much is, uh, it's about bridging sort of research and, and policy work. Then, of course, once we think we understand why things are a certain way, then the next question is, of course, what kinds of policies can we put in place to, to sort, sort things out or to make things better. Uh, and that's the topic. Uh, the first speaker is uh, Dick de Reval from the uh, University of Gothenburg on the paper, Gender Policy and Intimate, Intimate Partner Violence in, in Colombia. Uh, 